Hi guys. Hey, it is time for another demo. Uh, this is something that I get questions from about on a regular basis is how do you ship uh, signs? How do you ship uh, bigger signs? This one isn't really big, but it's, it's odd enough shaped that I don't have a box for it. If you can possibly ship your signs in boxes, you're much, much better off. But this one I don't really have a box for. I could make a box, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, pack this like I would any big sign that I didn't have a box for. So I wanna go through the process, and I, I may have done this previously, but my, um, my uh, process kind of evolves, and this is the way I'm doing this currently. I may at some point in time come up with a better solution, but this is the way I do it currently. So I do it in a, in a from a, a standpoint of packing it from the inside out. What I mean by that is I'll start with the sign and I will pack it as I go making a carton for it from the inside out. All right, so first things first is I'm gonna, I always wrap these, if ever it's got a finish on it, and all my signs do, I wrap it with plastic first, okay? So, I have, um, these are kind of odd shaped uh, plastic bags that I've got. Now these, I don't know if you guys remember uh, when, we, when we did the giveaway on this, we showed those sideboards that I made. Well, it turns out that the gentleman that I made the sideboards for, I guess that was Glary. Yeah. Uh, the, the gentleman that I made sideboards for, I actually, uh, I traded it out. Oh, am I yelling? Oh, I traded it out uh, for a bunch of bags. I mean, I've got cartons and cartons and cartons of odd shaped bags. So I'm gonna use what I've got. If you guys don't have these shaped bags, just whatever uh, shaped bag, you can use Ziploc bags and cut them apart. Anyway, so this is like a 12 by 20. What I've done is I've taken a couple of them and I've sliced them, sliced the end and the edge to make bigger pieces of plastic that I'm gonna cover this thing with. So what I do, actually I'll move the sign now. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I don't normally do this on, uh, on camera. So let me move the sign for a second. I'm gonna lay my bags down. I'm gonna tape them together. <laughs> I'm really good at this. I really am. It doesn't seem like it, but I've been packing stuff since I was a little kid. And I kind of, it's kind of weird, but I kind of enjoy it. All right, so I know that that's going to be plenty big enough for my sign. So I'm going to tape it together. All right. Now, I really want to protect that the face of that sign, but since it's going to be laying on plastic now, I really don't need those rags. So I am going to lay this face down, make sure I've got plenty of plastic all the way around it. Just using regular packing tape. It sticks to rubber. <laughs> the reason I got this cardboard here is when I, so I have to slice something, I want to do it on that cardboard and not uh, on my bench or my rubber pad. So when you're um, this is something to think about, guys. When you are quoting a sign and you're trying to figure out how long it's going to take you to make the sign, if you have to ship it, you want to factor that in too because I'll probably have, oh, I'll probably have an hour just in packing this thing to ship it. Don't have to be real careful. Oh, we've got a card. That needs to go in there too, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll put the card in between the plastic and the bubble wrap. So, 
that's in essence that is uh, now it's wrapped in plastic the reason I do that is I want to protect that finish and the bubble wrap uh, the, so this is the bubble wrap we use the bubble wrap I have had issues with bubble wrap um, like leaving like little fish eyes on the uh, even though this has been setting for about a week it'll leave little fish eyes so this is what we buy just down at Sam's Club I don't know where they where else they have them um, but we buy a roll at a time and uh, it's it comes the stuff that he huh perforated. yeah it comes perforated on uh, one foot lengths which makes it kind of nice so I'm just gonna rip off a few portions of that uh, I'll need three of them sometimes these perforations by the way sometimes they don't work very well but I'm glad these did sometimes it's like they uh, they don't cut all the way through when they perforated or something so now I'll set this aside and I will tape these together. Let's see, yeah, I want to do it that way. And you guys, if you have a better way to do this, do it your way. I'm just showing you how I do it. Again, if I had a box, um, that that thing would fit in nicely with a bunch of packing around it i would i would much prefer to do it that way not not just because it protects it better but obviously because it's a lot uh, faster all right so now i leave this thing face down Put your son, the card in there. yep Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did with the plastic. So this is what I mean by packing from the inside out. Some people may do it from the outside in. I just don't. That probably isn't that necessary, but that's bugging me. All right, so now I will protect those corners as best I can. Notice how I kind of double it up there. I want to protect those ends and those corners. That's uh, that's where it's susceptible to if it falls on its edge. Uh oh. At the door. That's alright, it's still on, it's just off, not centered. See, you're lying too, huh? Yeah. I don't know if you've ever watched me do this yeah. before. Maybe. Alright, so now what we have to do, we're going to come back on the next scene and I have to take a measurement from here. It was about 22, now it's probably about 23 by about 18. So keep that in mind, 23 by 18, I'm gonna go cut some pieces and then we will be back. Okay, so what I've done here is I have taken, taken, taking, I've taken some hardboard. It's just masonite. This is an old scrap piece of hardboard that I had. I cut two pieces and I cut them uh, three inches bigger all the way around beyond what my sign is. The reason I did that is I am going to, again, building from the inside out, 
I have a bunch of this stuff that is inch and a half thick. And uh, this is what I'm going to line the whole edge of this sign with. This stuff works. It's insulation. We used it on Vicky's new uh, building. And we use it for insulating our walls and stuff and ceilings over here. But it also works really good to scrap, keeping the scraps for stuff like this. So what I've done is I've cut this thing three inches bigger. So inch and a half plus inch and a half both ways. And I've cut some two inch strips which this thing is about two inches thick now uh, with the bubble wrap and plastic on it. So I cut some two inch, oops, that goes the other way. I cut some two inch strips, inch and a half thick. And that now is gonna make my box. And then my other piece will fit right on top. Now I'm, I tape this as I go but I want you guys to kind of understand what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull that off the edge. I'm going to center it up both ways. Go on the floor. I don't think it really matters the, as far as the shiny side or other the dull side. I'm just going to temporarily hold them in place by throwing some tape around them. Uh, the one thing that you will use a lot of in this process, definitely, is uh, packing tape. So you want to have plenty of packing tape. That's going to fall off there. That's right. I know it's in the right spot. So this is a loop because of the, the bulkiness on the edge. This is a little bit, got to squeeze it a little bit to get it to fit within my dimension there. And even that I have a little bit of a gap here, doesn't really matter as, my, as long as my piece fits there. And this is just kind of a thing that I've, a process that I've developed over the over the years that has worked pretty well for me uh, since I started well I, back in the old days I did have a few signs that uh, that got broken in shipment but since I started doing this many years ago I've never had one fail on me So I would suggest, guys, you got all this time and effort and money and um, blood, sweat, and tears in these things. Uh, why not pack them the best you can? All right, so those are held in place pretty decent. Now I'll put my lid on. Yep, that's pretty good. Be sure by the time you get to this point, guys, if you have paperwork that needs to go inside, you're going to have to unwrap it. <laughs> I've learned the hard way on that. I need some more tape. Hope I'm not wasting your time on this, this guys. But it's um, pretty important if you're going to make a nice sign. You really want it protected if you're going to ship it. I know I do. And I look at it as, uh, yeah, I am using a lot of tape and some materials, but pretty, uh, pretty cheap in the long run compared to having to replace a sign. So you can see I went a little bit long on that one, but it's not bad. That's a pretty good fit. A little bit long here and there, but that's a pretty good fit. Okay, so what I'm going to do off camera, 
Well, I get excited when I get this. Sorry if I'm talking too loud. What I'm going to do off camera, I'm going to throw some more tape on this and get it really taped up to where it's nice and solid so, you know, it's, there's no movement there at all. Then we'll come back for the last piece. Okay, guys. So, the next step is um, I went ahead and I taped this thing up a little bit more all the way around. It feels pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to skin it with uh, single face corrugated. Now, I've used this stuff for years. It works really well. Um, this is actually a two foot roll, but I've used three foot rolls, 30 inch rolls. Uh, as it turns out, because of this, the way this is, I'm gonna be able to do it, wrap it all in one shot. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap it this way. If it was uh, uh, much wider than this, I would have to have two pieces and wrap this way with an overlap. But um, as it turns out, I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to take my measurement. Looks like about a five foot piece should work well. So I'm just going to cut off a five foot section of this stuff. Oops, need my knife. It's about five foot right there. Now this stuff, uh, I think you just buy it on a new line. Uh, I'm not sure. If you just look for a single face corrugated, you can probably find it at a lot of different places. Thank you. Um, So now what I want to do is line this up with the, the grooves in there somewhere around halfway. doesn't really matter because you're just going to overlap anyway. You just want to kind of square with those grooves so that you get a fairly even seam. shipping this way actually for several years and since I have um, I haven't really had many issues actually zero issues as far as breakage so this is something that I've kind of developed over a period of, of years of a way that works for me now being as the, the lines of corrugated runs this way this gets a little bit tricky to shape this thing and if you want to pop on you a little bit that doesn't matter really not too close tuck that inside Go over the top. So what I'm going to do, guys, is off camera, I will go ahead and do what I've done here on the other side, and then we'll come back and, um, and finish it up. All right, so I've got both sides kind of somewhat taped. Now what I'm going to do, I, I've got my stool back here so I can really kind of get over the top of it. I want to just... Uh, and like I may have mentioned before, there's many times where I'm packaging and taping the sign and I'll go through a whole roll of tape. And to me, that's pretty cheap insurance. I don't want any issues with this. So what I'll do now, I don't want anything that could possibly catch on a, any type of automated machine or something like that. And some of those seams, if they're not covered up and taped right, they will catch on something. So I don't want any anything loose like that. Pretty good. 
Now what I'll do on this seam, I don't want, man, I don't want that to be a, a catching point. So I will put one right down the center. Then I'll put a piece of tape over, overlapping on both sides. Make absolutely sure we don't have any issues there. Now one last thing that I do that may not be necessary, but I do it anyway just so I sleep a little better. I'll turn it four ways. This particular one actually was a, a good one to do, do a to do, a, to, do, to, do, to do a demo on because it's not too big and bulky and awkward. Some, some signs that really get awkward and make, make it tough to film. But this same process, guys, whether this sign is this size or it's three times this size, this process works. I have never had one break on the or fail. Again, maybe it's a little overboard, but I would like to be able to be fairly sure in my own mind that, um, that I'm not going to have any issues with it. Yeah, see, that's, a, that's really a good point right there. So what I'll do there, I'll throw a piece of tape. That's something that, again, good eye, that's something that could catch up on machinery. So anytime you've got something like that, Take the extra time and tape it as, as best you can. And this tape does stick to this uh, to this corrugated pretty well. Anyway, there it is, guys. I think uh, I think that's a pretty good package. So what I'll do is I will quote this both ways: UPS and USPS Priority Mail. My hunch is Priority Mail is still going to be a better deal than UPS, but that remains to be seen. I don't think, this thing won't even weigh 20 pounds, I don't think. Um, and I think Priority Mail, I know Priority Mail gets a, there a lot faster than uh, UPS Ground for sure. But anyway guys, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions on this, uh, let me know. Um, it's a fairly simple process once you've done it for a few times. And again, I probably have about an hour in, uh, in putting this whole thing together. You guys have just seen a, a small portion of that. Um, but I think it makes a good package. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Eric at MakerWoodSign.com. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye-bye.